Come out, you assholes! Okay, moving to engage! Your ass is dead!
Stop right there! <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? The cave. So we call it. Get in. What is this place? You boys are right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. <sighs> Can you believe this place, man? Our mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tangled with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago overall went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, our choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skaltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skelltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? We're just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour.
Welcome back. Good to see you. All good? Won't be able to stay ahead of Sentinel surveillance tech for much longer, tell you that much. left who made it hey you just relax pal i'm doing what i can you damn superhero <sighs> here here's another superpower find Midas. But Weaver... Hey, you just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the Wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. You might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. Sentinel Corp are the bad guys, and we have to hide from them, but beyond that, I don't know. They ask a lot of hard questions, that's for sure. Like what? When are we going home? Where are the people sent them to? You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. Now, the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. 
I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. I mean, I wish I had the answers to those. Me too. Me too. That's the problem. What's the best way to customize my weapons around here? Well, let's see. You're probably going to want a new scope. A couple of rail attachments, some bigger magazines, maybe even a new suppressor. Huh. You know your stuff. When we came out here, we were planning to survive. Do you have anything you could sell me? I don't have much, but you can take a look. I'll sell you what I can. If you need something I don't have, you can rummage through any military crates you stumble across. The more Sentinel Corp guns guarding them, the more likely you'll be interested in what they're keeping inside. I like the way you think. Listen, I'm gonna need to gear up, but I didn't exactly bring much cash on this trip. If you're asking for money, I can't help you. Wish I could, but look, I need to buy my stock and with things as they are. Don't worry, I'll find a way to get what I need. Just tell me what people use to buy things on Aurora. Well, the good news is everyone takes American dollars and New Zealand dollars, but they're pretty rare. Most people use something called Screds. It's some kind of computer money Skeltech came up with. Cryptocurrency, I think they call it. You can buy things with it just like regular money. Bunch of hooey, if you ask me. What do I need to access it? Oh, it's everywhere. It's virtual, you see? You can find it on just about any computer, our cell phones, our data pads. Hell, even the drones and relay antennas can get them. They're floating all around in signals or some such thing. Well, then I guess I'll be making some withdrawals. I need to be brought up to speed on the situation here. Hell, I don't know much. We try to stay away from what goes on on the other side of the island. But lately, things have just gotten so you can't ignore it anymore. What's been happening? Try to remember every detail you can. Let's see. I guess it all started when the Skell headquarters was bombed. After that, everything changed. They brought in the security company, Sentinel. They were supposed to keep everything safe, but then it all went to shit. You mean Skell went missing? Missing? They said terrorists kidnapped him. You believe that? Hell no. They're making all that stuff up. Why would they do that? I have no idea. The only thing I can say for sure is ever since he went missing, Sentinel got a lot more aggressive. They're looking everywhere for Skell. They want him bad. I'll see you around. You be safe out there. Yes, ma'am. Take your time.
Let's get you set up with what you need. Days and bad. It's a lot for them. Packing up in the night, coming here. Everyone's done great work building our one, but it's not home. Well, they understand that Sentinel Corp are the bad guys. We have to hide from them, but beyond that, well, I don't know. They ask a lot of hard questions, that's for sure. You heard from Samuel? Not since last but week. I'm sure everything's fine. Afraid. Fine. Last time I saw him, he was stomping through here like a goddamn hurricane. Well, that doesn't mean anything.
How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? Yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. Well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. How are the kids? It'd be a pretty island without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I'd get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Uh, well, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much, it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself, one day, I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I'd get now. Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown knew about this place for a while. We figured sacred ground always makes good sanctuary. That's pretty damp, though. It's still a work in progress, all right? We've managed to stay under the radar so far. With all of you, our people, a bunch of Skeltech employees. I don't think you've got room to complain. Hey, I'm not complaining. This place is great. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Do they understand why you needed to move? Well, they understand that some of the bad guys we have to hide from them. Beyond that, I don't know. They ask a lot of hard questions, that's for sure. Like what? You know, when are we going home? Where are the people Sentinel took? I mean, I wish I had the answers to those. Me too, me too. That's the problem.
Uh, good days and bad. It's a lot for them. Packing up in the night, coming here. Everyone's done great work building Erewhon, but it's not home. Understand why you needed to move? If you're going to be coming here, don't bring your war with you.
Dad. D don't hurt us. Please. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Mad Schultz sent me. You don't look like homesteaders. Well, I worked... I work for Skeltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to this island from a Navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. I can get these bolts back to that ship, then I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. And this is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No. Uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, I mean, not, not, not badly. We left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. Take cover! What the hell was that? Give me a minute. My God. Those people. It, it, it must be a, a, a new security programmer. Holy flying cow. My guess is, my guess is nothing could come to or leave this island as long as it's on. That must be what brought down my chopper. I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. Listen, you have to get these people, and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you, and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. OK, yes, yeah. Uh, are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing building you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck. 